So Dr. Ho Young Lee graduated from the University of Edinburgh with a Bachelor of Science degree in Medical Sciences and received his PhD in 2021 from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. He's now working as a postdoc researcher at Professor Yu Chol Shin's lab, the Center for Viral Immunology in the Korea Virus Research Institute, Institute for Basic Science. And his main research interests center around the molecular mechanisms underlying TCR independent cytokine induced activation of CDA T cells. And he'll be talking to us today about the mechanisms underlying IL-15 induced bystander activation of memory CD8 T cells in acute viral infection. All right, Dr. Lee. Okay, uh, can you see my slide and hear me okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the generous introduction. And also I'd like to thank all the organizers, especially Mr. Edmund Neo for um, organizing and inviting me to this wonderful meeting. The study I'm going to introduce today is about mechanisms underlying IL-15 induced bystander activation of memory CD8 T cells in acute viral infection. Memory CD8 T cells with their immunological memory, they provide more rapid and enhanced immune response to the previously encountered pathogen. Such enhanced response is derived from the T cell receptor TCR that they express to target their cognate peptide presenting on their target cells. And this activation pathway is generally known as the classical paradigm of memory CDA T cell activation. However, memory CDA T cells can be activated in the absence of TCR signaling by inflammatory cytokines. And in the case of viral infection, such TCR independent cytokine induced activation of pre existing memory CDA T cells that are not specific for the infecting virus is referred as bystander activation. Compared to TCR-mediated activation, bystander activation induces polyclonal activation of memory CD8 T cells with diverse TCR repertoire, and it was found to induce the transient activation duration. One of the questions that is most frequently asked is the role of bystander-activated memory CD8 T cells, whether they provide protective or harmful effects to the host. From accumulating evidence, we were able to see that the magnitude and the role of bystander activated memory CD8 T cells depends on a number of factors, including types of infecting microbes at their infection sites, and there's also the types of cytokine that are regulated during infection, and the size of memory pool of the host and differentiation status of CD8 T cell, and also their tissue residency. Among various inflammatory cytokines, IL-15 has been recognized as the major trigger of bystander activation of memory CD8 T cells. IL-15 belongs to the common gamma chain cytokine family, and it is widely known as the homeostatic cytokine that is crucial for development, maintenance, and survival of memory CD8 T cells and NK cells. IL-15 is produced mainly by monocyte, dendritic cell, and epithelial cells. And upon binding to its receptor, R15 activates uh, three parallel um, downstream signaling pathway. Some of the signaling pathway can be also induced by TCR mediated activation. And due to this shared signaling pathway between R15 and TCR simulation, previous work had focused on the role of R15 in promoting TCR mediated effective functions in CD8 T cells. However, R15 itself can activate memory CD8 T cells and induce various effector functions such as proliferation, cytotoxicity, and production of effector molecules, and also the expression of NK cell-related re receptors. In the case of acute HIV infection, previous work from our lab reported uh, the immunopathological role of uh, bystander-activated memory CD8 T cells. So in this study, we found that together with CD8 T cell, there are specific for the uh, HIV virus, uh, non-HIV specific CD8 T cells were activated in a bystander manner by increased level of IL-15. And these bystander activated memory CD8 T cells were expressing increased level of NKG2D and migrated to the infected liver by CCR5 mediated mechanisms where, where they exerted NKG2D dependent in a like cytotoxicity, which was significantly correlated with the severity of liver damage in the patients with acute HIV infection. So in this study, we were able to find the characteristic features of bystander activated memory CD8 T cells, such as expression of NKG2D and CCR5. Uh, we were able to see that these markers were significantly induced by IL-15 stimulation. However, in the case of the concurrent TCR stimulation, this IL-15 induced expression was significantly abrogated. 
And recently, we also reported the uh, regulation of interferon response gene known as IFITM3 as a marker indicative of our 15 induced bystander activation of memory CD8 T cells in a mouse model of influenza infection. So we were able to define this um, R15 induced bison reactivation by looking at these characteristic um, features that are negatively regulated by the TCR stimulation. However, the mechanisms underlying this opposite regulation induced by R15 and TCR stimulation have not been characterized. Therefore, we questioned what are the underlying mechanisms of R15 induced bison reactivation that is counteracted by the concurrent TCR stimulation. Therefore, we began by uh, stimulating healthy donor PBMCs with, with IL-15 or other cytokines that belong to the common gamma chain cytokine family. And then we focused on the expression of NKG2D, a marker that is significantly increased on bystander activated memory CD T cells. So when we looked at the expression of NKG2D after stimulation on CD8 T cells and their naive and memory subsets, in memory CD8 T cells, we were able to see that it was R15 that was most significantly uh, increasing the expression of NKG2D in a dose-dependent manner. And then we sorted out memory CD8 T cells by sorting CCR7 negative CD8 T cells and stimulating the cells with R15 and anti-CD3 or in combination. We were able to reconfirm our previous data that NKG2D expression is significantly increased by R15 stimulation. However, TCR stimulation uh, didn't um, increase the expression of NKG2D. Uh, in the case of combined stimulation, it rather decreased the R15 induced expression of NKG2D. And this expression of NKG2D was not correlated with its own gene known as KRK1. However, its surface expression was nicely correlated with a uh, gene of NKG2D's adapter molecule called HCSD. So HCSD is a gene of DAP10 molecule. So from these data, we're able to see that um, increase in the surface expression of NKG2D and mRNA expression of HCSD can work as a marker indicative of TCR independent R15 induced activation in memory CD8 T cells. So using the same stimulation condition, we performed BERK RNA sequencing, and we were able to find individual and overlapping differentially expressed genes that are upregulated by R15 and TCR and combined stimulation. And then we were able to isolate a set of genes as a cluster one that is specifically upregulated by R15, unchanged or downregulated by TCR or the combined stimulation. And this cluster one was enriched with the genes that are associated with NK cell mediated cytotoxicity and also the genes for interferon response. To confirm this finding in the disease setting, we performed single cell RNA sequencing of CD8 T cells that are isolated from the patients with acute HIV infection, where the bystander activation of memory CD8 T cells is well characterized. Um, together with the CD8 T cell, they are isolated from healthy donors. Uh, we stained the CD8 T cells with a DNA barcode uh, decode dextromers to track down uh, virus specific CD8 T cells, including HAV and CMV, EVV, and influenza A virus specific CD8 T cell in our single cell readout. So we sorted out the code positive and negative CD8 T cells and further stained them with the cystic antibody for the simultaneous analysis of protein expression and transcriptomic features of virus specific CD8 T cells. And as you can see, we were able to track down HAV specific CD8 T cells with CMV, EVV, and influenza A virus specific CD8 T cells, which we grouped together as bystander CD8 T cells. When we compare the, uh, the markers between uh, bystander CD8 T cells between um, healthy donors and patients with acute HIV infection, we were able to see that in these bystander CD8 T cells from patients were um, activated and also expressing the increased level of genes for the um, cytotoxic molecules such as porphyrin and granzyme B. And when we move on to compare um, HAV specific CD8 T cell with bystander CD8 T cells, we were able to see all these molecules that are associated with NK cell mediated cytotoxicity were um, increased in bystander CD8 T cells. And when we looked at their gene levels, we were able to see that genes that are associated with NK cell mediated cytotoxicity or also the interferon response were um, significantly increased in bystander CD8 T cells compared to HAV specific CD8 T cells. Then we used our bulk RNA sequencing data that we obtained from, uh, that I previously uh, introduced you, that we obtained from memory CD8 T cells that were stimulated with R15 and TCR and combined stimulation. 
And when we look at the enrichment of cluster one, which is IL-15 specific gene set in HAV and bystander CD8 T cells. And as you can see, this cluster one, this IL-15 specific gene set, gene set was significantly enriched in bystander CD8 T cells compared to HAV specific CD8 T cells. Then we, we wanted to um, narrow it down to a specific signaling pathway that is responsible for inhibiting IL-15 induced activation during the concurrent TCR stimulation. Therefore, we focused on the role of a calcium mediated signaling pathway, which is which is well characterized pathway during uh, TCR mediated activation. However, uh, it is not well um, in, um, is, it is not really involved in IL-15 induced activation. Therefore, we um, stimulated memory CD8 T cells with IL-15 and inomycin or in com combined stimulation. Inomycin is a calcium inophore that increases intracellular calcium level, thereby, thereby um, increasing the activity, the action of calcium mediated signaling pathway. So after performing bulk RNA sequencing, we again use our bulk RNA sequencing data that we obtained from IL-15 and TCR stimulation. And we were able to see that this R15 specific gene set was significantly abrogated by inomycin or the combined stimulation. And when we look at the expression of the representative genes that um, that describe the uh, TCR independent R15 induced activation, uh, these genes were nicely regulated by R15, but like but significantly uh, inhibited by inomycin or combined stimulation. And using this uh, inomycin um, RNA uh, bulk RNA sequencing data, we again enrich the genes that were this time the um, genes that were um, increased by inomycin or combined stimulation or by both in in the HAB specific CD8 T cells and bystander CD8 T cells, and we were able to see that it was only HAB specific CD8 T cell that were um, expressing um, or they were um, enriched with uh, uh, genes that were induced by calcium mediated signaling. And then because of calcium mediated signaling um, inhibited um, IL-15 induced activation, we thought that treating the cells with the chemical inhibitors that target carcinogenic signaling pathway, which is um, well characterized, one of the well characterized calcium mediated signaling, would have um, would have suppressive role on IL-15 induced activation. Therefore, we treated a cell with the chemical inhibitors that target um, mTOR signaling pathway or carcinogenic signaling pathway during TCR-mediated and R15-mediated activation stimulation. And then we were able to see that this TCR-mediated activation uh, was completely abrogated by treating the cells with um, eberolimus and tacrolimus. However, in the case of R15-induced activation, targeting carcinogenic signaling pathway failed to suppress R15-induced activation. And this was, this was consistent with the R15-induced NK-like cytotoxic features, including NKG2D expression, and Grenzyme B expression, and also the R15 induced NK like cytotoxic features of uh, R15 uh, uh, induced activation of memory CD T cells. And because carcinogenic signaling pathway was not inhibiting R15 induced activation, but only uh, targeting the TCR mediated activation, we thought that treating the cells with the carcinogenic uh, signaling pathway inhibitor will only abrogate the action of TCR mediated activation during R15 and TCR combined stimulation. Therefore, we treated, treated tacrolimus in the case of uh, R15 and TCR stimulation, and we were able to see that this abrogated um, expression of NKG2D that was induced by R15 was significantly recovered by treating the cells with the carcinogenic signaling pathway inhibitor. And lastly, we wanted to confirm the effect of calcium signaling in, um, in the patient, in the disease model, in the, in the disease setting. So we analyzed the uh, uh, clinical samples of uh, patients with acute HIV infection. We cultured their PBMC with a one-day stimulation with R15 or R15 with inomycin. And we were able to see that on their memory CD8 T cells and CMB and EBV specific CD8 T cells, the expression of NKG2D that was um, increased by R15 stimulation was significantly abrogated by uh, con uh, the combined inomycin stimulation. And this was consistent with the R15 induced NK like cytotoxicity with the uh, against the target cell called K562 cells. So to summarize this study, um, in the case of R15 stimulation without the TCR stimulation, R15 um, induces R15 specific gene set that is enriched with NK cell, that is enriched with the genes of NK cell mediated cytotoxicity and also the interferon response. And then it induces um, expression of NK cell receptors, which lead to the increased 
uh, innate like site associated feature, which is the case of a uh, um, R15 induced bison direct activation of memory CDA T cells. As we saw, this gene signature was enriched in bison their CDA T cells. However, in the case of TCR stimulation, in the, in the case of uh, R15 stimulation, it was the calcium mediated signaling that was inhibiting the R15 specific gene signature, which led to um, decreased expression of NKE cell receptors and then uh, result in the reduced um, innate light cytosine features. And we also discovered that um, in chemical inhibitors that target carcinogenic pathway, uh, is not suppressing um, R15 induced bison reactivation of memory CD8 T cells. So, with that being summarized, I would like to thank all the uh, all my lab members who contributed to this um, study. Uh, firstly, uh, Professor Richard Shin, who is my ad advisor for his patient guidance and critical uh, advice, and to a very young, talented PhD candidate, So Young Kim, for helping me with the processing and analyzing all the sequencing data from the study, and also to uh, Professor Si Young Park for critical comments. And also to Professor Hyuk Soon for providing us the precious clinical samples from patients with acute HIV infection. And I'm going to finish there. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any questions and comments. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Are there any questions from the audience? Jeremy, all right, go ahead and unmute yourself. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for your uh, great presentation. It's very interesting. Um, the, the final point there in the, in the summary about the, the calcineurin inhibitors not suppressing the IL-15 uh, activation of the memory cells, um, presumably then that's a kind of a good thing in the context of transplantation where you want to kind of maintain active uh, T cell responses against um, you know, viruses uh, and, and yet obviously inhibit the, the um, allo-reactive immune response. Is, is that something which you're kind of going to be looking into in a bit more detail or is that just a bit more of a side, side question? Yes, oh, that, that is actually a really good point. We want to explore this finding in the uh, clinical setting where um, the carcinogenic inhibitors are, are um, prescribed and treated. And we think it's um, treating the, some, 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 there were some diseases where uh, patients show the uh, not really good um, outcome after treating this, treating them with the carcinogenic pathway. And we think maybe um, the bison deactivated uh, memory CD T cells are doing a kind of a, immunopathological actions and carcinary, um, uh, uh, the carcinary inhibitors uh, kind of fail to inhibit these actions, thereby um, giving them the bad outcome from it. Great. All right, we also have a question from Stephen. Do you wanna unmute yourself and ask your question? Yes, thank you, thanks very much. Um, I was curious to, to know, um, Dr. Lee, if, if you've seen um, any increased FC receptors on your on your NK cells, typically CD16. Do you see those increase that might give rise to more ADCC? Oh, uh, unfortunately, we haven't really analyzed the um, 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 the molecules on NK cells. So um, we only focused on the CD8 T cells, but on, in the case of CD8 T cell, we didn't see any um, expression of CD16, but I'm guessing uh, it is a really good point and it will be really interesting to see um, this ADCC effect on the NK cell in the case of uh, um, acute HIV infection. Thank you for your comment. Thank, thanks very much. Dr. Lee, we also have a question from Sandeep asking, did you check any other IL-15 cytokine family, uh, cytokine role in bystander activation or IL-15? Uh, is that the only one that you looked at? Um, so um, um, is, that, is, is that like, uh, I don't know if I get the question right, but like, um, if, is, was she asking about um, other inflammatory cytokines that were contributing to bison reactivation or yeah. is it? Okay, so um, uh, I, I didn't really have time to introduce in the, my introduction slides, but um, IL-12 and IL-18 are also recognized as a major trigger of bison reactivation of memory CD T cells. But, um, but their role is uh, more focused on the uh, interferon gamma production of memory CD T cell there activated in the bystander manner. Uh, um, we haven't really checked the um, effects of IL-12 and IL-18, but like 
but we are doing on another uh, further research on whether this um, other inflammatory cytokine that drive bison activation would have um, synergistic effects on R15 induced um, effector functions of bison activated CD8 T cells. Great. All right, well, thank you again for the excellent presentation. Thank you very much.